Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog on a topic suggested by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. And this week's topic is, how has the book community influenced your reading? And in a shock to people who know me very well, I've actually got a simple answer to this one. Not really very much. Uh, I grew up before the internet. I had an email account at university, but I had that email account because I showed the university that there was actually a need for me to have one. So it was back in the days before even email was ubiquitous. I could just out say that uh, web pages were there, but Facebook and all of the other social media came into being well after I could legitimately say I stopped being a student. So for most of my formative years, there wasn't a book community, or at least it wasn't called the book community. It was called the library. So most of my reading was books that were recommended by the library, books that I saw in the library, or books that were recommended by friends or family. And now, in the post-internet age, most of the books I read are books that are recommended by the library, books that I see in the library, or books that are recommended by friends and family. The thing that's changed is what the friend's recommendation portion of recommendation means and what the recommended by the library means. And so now there is the internet and the connectivity and the engines that run behind that that weren't there when I first started reading voraciously, the people who can get in touch with me and stay in touch with me to become friends is now a bigger set. I can now be friends with people who I don't see face to face on a regular basis or talk to on the telephone on a regular basis. But they're still, I'm still taking their recommendations because they're friends, not because they're part of the book community per se. I mean, it's unlikely that I'd ever take a recommendation for reading a book from someone who didn't read at all. But someone who's giving me a recommendation, I'm not going to disregard it on the basis that they don't read as many books as I do. Because if I did, I'd be culling out almost everyone that I can think of because most people don't read as many books as I do and so that's it so most of the the book community I suppose are influencing the recommendation engines so when my library suggests a book to me it might be because the book community have created the data set that causes the library to recommend it, but that's a curated data set. It's not the book community recommending to me, it's the book community showing a librarian that something is going on, that people tend to like this book and that book. And so they will give a recommendation on the basis of their knowledge. But they're going to be given the recommendation, the influence is from them, not from the people who are suggesting connections to them. So that's no more the book community influencing my reading as it was before there was a 
book community in the sense that it's used today. So I think the book community as a concept is potentially the thing that influences me least is most of the people who post a lot of reviews of books are posting a lot of good reviews of books but I don't have time to follow them because if I'm reading about their recommendations or watching videos about their recommendations I'm doing that in the time I would otherwise be reading and even with my hundreds of books a year habit I'm not running out so the recommendations are getting to me without them having to come from the book community which hopefully means that uh, I have both proved that I can give a simple definitive answer to a question and that my definition of simple and definitive is still probably longer and more nuanced than most people would use the terms to mean. So, toodaloo!